Good afternoon and welcome to episode 22 of the Brazos Fiber Works. I am Jennifer. I am the owner and dyer behind Brazos Fiber Works. If this is your first time coming along, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on that button. I hope you do like today's video. If you do enjoy it, please subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and comment below anything that you would like to see in the future, see from me, or just to say hello. That way YouTube knows to push out this kind of content to other viewers who may like this content also. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for joining me back today. I appreciate you guys more than you know. If you would like to help support this channel, I do have a Ko-Fi link below. All donations are appreciated and just go to helping support this channel and giving you more episodes and videos to come. Where can you find me? You can find me on Instagram at Brazos Fiberworks. I am JNB Crafty on Ravelry. We also do have a Ravelry group, it just, which is Brazos Fiberworks. And we have knit alongs and all that good stuff over there. So if you would like to go check that out. Facebook, I am Brazos Fiberworks. I don't post as much on there. The website to my shop is brazosfiberworks.com. You will find yarn, bags, a little bit of fiber, notions, all that good stuff over there. And if you need to email me, jennifer at brazosfiberworks.com. Alrighty guys, so let's get into this last couple weeks. I don't have a whole lot of finished objects. As you know, I was trying to get the wedding socks done for my daughter and a pair of socks done for a friend at work and also my niece's blanket. So I will share all of that in this episode today along with uh, showing you some shop news. Today's episode is going to be all about knitting, a little crochet, shop news, and maybe a little life news, not a whole lot. So uh, today's episode is going to be a little quick because I don't have a whole lot to show, but I wanted to get you guys something out there this week. So let's go ahead and talk about finished objects. All right, so the finished objects, I have two, and I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you will know what one of those are. The second one I haven't posted yet, only because I didn't want um, the person that I was gifting them to to see them yet. I am giving those to her tomorrow, so I'm sure she won't see that even if she watched it. <laughs> All right, so the first finished object is the second wedding socks that I was making for my daughter for her friend's wedding. I already went ahead and sent those to her, so I'll put a picture up here of those. And I dyed those colors specifically for my daughter, for the girl in the wedding. It is just a vanilla sock. Please use the vanilla sock pattern by Cave the Crazy Sock Lady on Magic Loop. Um, I did the 56 stitch cast on. I did 15 rows in a two by two ribbing, a 50 row on the leg. And then I did it for about a women's size seven, six and a half, seven. I was able to finish those last, I believe a couple days after I recorded the last video. So almost a couple weeks ago. And I sent those off to her. So she had them by last week. So they were all ready for the people in the wedding. So that was my first finished object. My second finished object, let me grab it. These are done. I just still have them in here. Sorry if you hear bell whining. All right, let me put these on some sock blockers really quick. If you saw my episode a couple weeks ago, you would see that I was knitting up a pair of socks for a girl at work. And I called these socks for Lex because that was who I was making them for. And she is a big Longhorns fan. So I dyed up a skein for her for the Longhorns. And here we are. Hopefully the light isn't blowing it out too bad. And I used the Find the Joy pattern by Cave the Crazy Sock Lady. I did the small version, the 56 stitch cast on. I did one extra row or one extra 
pattern repeat in the leg because she wanted them a little long. So yeah, I think they turned out great. She will love them. I know she will. She's been wanting them for quite a while, but I had to finish those two socks for my daughter before I could give those off to her. So yeah, those will be going to her tomorrow. And that is all I have for finished objects. Like I said, I was really busy trying to get that done, trying to get caught up on everything else. Um, some of that I will share in shop news. But let's go ahead and start talking about works in progress. All right, so my first work in progress and I did mention before that I am making a blanket for my niece who has gone off to flight school. She wanted a blanket with her college colors. And so at first I started with this different pattern and I started getting into it and I just didn't care for it. So I ripped it out and then I just did a double crochet and that's what I did across. I don't remember how many chains I did, but it's gonna be a pretty good size. So this is how far I've gotten along with it. I know I have pretty far to go, but I am trying to work on it every night, get a couple rows in at least, and hopefully it'll be done. I'm hoping somewhere the end, towards the end of September, so I can send that off to her. So that is my first work in progress. It is a crochet project. All right, my second work in progress is my anthology throw by Helen Stewart of Curious Handmade. And it is using my Brazos Fiberworks Advent Minis from 2023. And here is what I have so far. So I think when I left off a couple weeks ago, I was here and I've gotten these three colors done. So I think I am getting ready to add in day 17. So I'm getting close, I'm getting close. I'm hoping to be completely done with this by September. So that way I'm all ready for this year's advent. And that is just housing in my Brazos Fiberworks little tote bag from last year's advent. All right, my third work in progress is in my big Chelsea tote from Chelsea Yarns from her advent from last year also. And it is my Mindful Temperature Blanket by Taylor LaRocco. If you would like to see all of the details, all of the color ranges, uh, climate ranges, and all of that good stuff, it is in my Ravelry page. And I am almost caught up. So when I went to drive up to take my daughter back to college a couple weeks ago, I, I think when I recorded last time, I still needed to get caught up. So with trying to get the socks done and off to her, there was a couple days I didn't get any done, so I think I have two days left to get caught up on. But here is the start of August. Here in the purple right here is when I was in Missouri. And then from here on up, that is from the last couple weeks. And yes, it this is my color range that is 100 to 100, well actually, let's see, here, here, 100 to 105. Here's one strip that was 100, above 105. So it has been pretty hot. It just this week um, has gotten in the 90s, and then next week is supposed to be in the 80s. So guys, I'm gonna go back to purple, but I just have a feeling that the 80s are not going to stay, that we're going to get some more hot before fall weather comes, but yes, here it is so far. If you've watched my episodes before, you will have seen this multiple times, but it is just turning out 
great. And I can't wait till the end of the year to see what it is going to look like. All right. Then my fourth and final whip, like I said, I haven't been working on too many things this last couple weeks, is my Alpine Bloom Tea by Caitlin Hunter. And I really haven't gotten a whole lot done. I think I need to put some stoppers on the end so my stitches don't fall off. That's what I'm afraid of. But I did get, I think like five rows done since the last one. So I absolutely cannot wait to get this done. I would love to just put everything else down and start working on this. It is, yes. I'm so excited to have a garment to wear. So yeah. That is that. So yeah, that is it for works in progress. Um, let's talk a little shopping. So like I told you a couple weeks ago, after this episode loads, most of the yarns that are in the Brazos Fiberworks shop, I am going to just do mystery skeins. So you can either get one mystery skein, two or three. Um, and I will just randomly throw skeins in there. They're going to be for a discounted price. So I'm going to try to make room for all my fall yarns that are coming in. And I was also hoping to have more fall colors today to be able to put in the shop and bags. I did get three new colors dyed for the shop. And then I got, I started on bags last week. So if you saw my Instagram post from last week, you will have seen that I got a bunch of different bags started. So one, my sewing machine just decided to go berserk and I had to do some maintenance on it. So that held it up for a little bit. And then yesterday I finally got everything back to working. So they're all gonna be drawstring for right now. Um, I do have about five different bags different patterns of bags that are gonna go in the shop. I only have one bag color to show you. I have a bunch of different sizes in it, but these ones will go up in the shop hopefully this evening. Probably by the time this uploads, hopefully they're in my shop, but they are super cute. I am so excited how they came out. So this is gonna be the smallest one. And you guys are gonna see, like I bought these, I bought this material, like all these five, pattern materials that you're gonna see come in the shop in the next week. I bought them all a little while ago. So I don't have any holiday ones ready. Um, I'm hoping next week I can get some holiday ones in the shop. But here is this one. This is the smallest one. And they all are gonna have pockets in them. So see here, this one that has two pockets. But one is a great size for one skein socks so yeah super super cute but that is the smallest one then I have one a little bit bigger and again has pockets inside then we're gonna go to one that's a little bit taller and again you'll see You'll see the pockets, whoops. You'll see the pockets inside there. There is two pockets, one is just not opening. And then I have some ones that are wider for bigger projects. So here we go. This one could probably fit a sweater in it. And then I have a little bit bigger one that might be able to fit a bigger sweater, possibly like a blanket to start. It does open up a lot bigger. It's just hard to hold once I've pressed it and everything. And they all have, let's see, they'll have, this one has pockets on the other side. So they all have pockets, but I love these. So they're all pretty like wide. So they're a great size and they are all ready. All these ones are ready to go. So these ones will be up in the shop, hopefully this evening, but Yes, so like I, I just I am so excited how these came up. They're, they're just great. That's all, that's all I can say. They're great. Um, 
so yeah these ones will go up in there and then I will try to put some pictures of a couple other ones that I am working on that I did take pictures of and post in my Instagram last week and then holiday ones will come eventually and then Christmas ones I've already got all the Christmas material I had some left over from last year that I didn't get to make the bags but bags bags are coming bags are coming guys yarns so I have three new ones coming to the shop I have two repeats from last fall and then self striping so I was hoping to have a self striping yarn done by today before when I made self striping yarn I didn't have a warp to put it on so it was basically like chairs around the house walking you know measuring everything out but um, I decided to finally get a warp to do those so that will go much faster more efficient and it was supposed to be here yesterday so I was hoping to get those wound yesterday all ready to dye and it did not get delivered yesterday and it just got delivered about 10 minutes ago and it's about 4 30 in the afternoon that definitely isn't going to get dyed this week but hopefully next week I will start getting those skeins dyed and ready so I can put some in the shop and then hopefully you will start seeing a consistent self-striping yarn in the, in the shop. Um, I love dyeing self-striping. I really want to get bag and a skein ready for Halloween and for Christmas and all that good stuff. So you will start seeing those in the shop soon. So the first one, new one this year is going to be this one. Now my lights might be blowing it out, but this one is going to be pumpkin pie. It has a lot of different oranges, some brown espressos, all that good stuff in there. And then here is a return from last year. This one is leaves are fallen. And again, the lighting might be not doing it so great, but you will see those on the website. All right, and then another return from last year is pumpkin spice latte. This is one of my favorites. And I think I am going to be dyeing up some sweater quantity for me. I would love to make a sweater out of this. And any of these you would like sweater quantities, just always email me, let me know that this, like what color you're looking at and you want a sweater quantity and I can go ahead and dye that up for you. All right, so then the other two new ones this year is this one that is called Getting Ready for Halloween. It has some purples, oranges, black speckling some other colors love it if you can see it better like that there you go that's that's better all right then we have oh my colors of fall i just love these so if you saw my story um that i posted yesterday I had shown this picture in the dye pans and I was like, hey, should I speckle, should I not? 72% of you said speckle. So I did speckle it. It is lightly speckled. So yes, I love, love this. So hopefully soon um, I will get some of these knitted up so that I can put a swatch of them on the shop so you can see a picture of that. But yeah, um, any of these will be um, on all of my bases. So here are the three new ones. And then here are my returning ones. So let's see if I can put all these together. Aren't those beautiful, beautiful fall yarns? 
Also, we have knit alongs going along in the Brazos Fiberworks on Ravelry. So if you would like to join one of our knit alongs, go ahead and head over to Ravelry and join in on those. Next month, we will have our sock knit along. We will have our temperature blanket knit along. We will also still be doing the knit along for whips that trying to finish up our whips. And also the other one we're going to have is a sweater. So if you would like to knit on a sweater or you have a current sweater that you would like to finish, though that will be that knit along will also be going on in the Brazos Fiberworks on Ravelry. So if you'd like to join those, head right over there. All right, you guys, I think that is it for shop news and all that good stuff. Life news, I don't really have a whole lot of life news. Haven't really done that much in the last couple weeks. My son drove up to see my daughter this week at college and just kind of hang out, have some brother sister time. Let's see, not, not much else, just work. I have not made it to the gym like I talked about in my last episode. So fingers crossed, I will get to the gym soon. I've just been really trying to dedicate time to the shop getting yarn dyed. I'm working on closing out the colors and getting them done for the Grinch advent this year. If you haven't grabbed one, please go do before they sell out. I will not be making dyeing anymore this year. I think there's a couple of them left. Those have been so fun to dye. So I'm trying to get all of that wrapped up. Just trying to get you guys more product in the shop and yeah trying to update all that. But don't forget that I will have grab bags in the shop, yarn, discounted price. So go ahead and grab those. Um, but either, other than that, I will hopefully have some new stuff next week. And my intention is to upload a video next week. It'll probably be really short like this one, um, maybe a little bit shorter, just to kind of like go over all of the new stuff in the shop. I do have a fall video coming out. Yeah, all that good stuff. I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you guys have a great rest of your August. What is there, like a couple days left? One day left? Two days left? And I will see you in September. Have a great weekend. Bye.